Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss to you what are polar coordinates in AutoCAD. So polar coordinates are different from absolute and relative coordinates because here in polar coordinates you are using the pole. And what is this pole? Pole is the reference point. The same with the relative coordinates. We have a reference point which is your previous point. So the pole will be the origin in order to create the next point or the next segment. So always remember here in polar coordinates that it employs one radial distance and one angle. So we will no longer deal with x and y's. So only the starting point because we cannot create a polar coordinates without specifying the first point. So uh, as you can see here, we have here an illustration of the angle convention in AutoCAD. So by default, the angle convention in AutoCAD is in counterclockwise direction and it is in positive angle. So when we are using the positive angle convention, so the direction is counterclockwise. So the opposite one, which is clockwise direction, deals with the negative values of your angles. As you can see here, this is the angles, and this is your pole. So pole can be anywhere as long as it is the reference point in order for you to create the next point. So in AutoCAD, we always start with 0 degrees or 360 degrees. So it is located in your x-axis here in the right side. So from 0, if you are going to create, like for example, 45 degrees in counterclockwise direction, of course, we are going to rotate it in counterclockwise direction. So the location for your 45 degrees will be here. So opposite to clockwise direction, if we are going to specify 45 degrees using the clockwise direction, then the location of your 45 degrees will be here, below. We have negative 45 because the direction is in clockwise. Alright, so let's try to solve this example here to better understand what are polar coordinates. So given here are the points and its corresponding distance in order to identify the missing polar coordinates. So we started at point A, which has an absolute coordinates of negative 2, negative 1. So we will no longer use this to specify the polar coordinates because we will only deal with distance and angle. And the input would be the at symbol to specify a polar coordinate. First entry is your distance separated by the less than symbol and then you can input your angle. So this less than symbol here represents that the next input will be the angle. Alright, so from A to B we have here a distance of 2 in an upward direction. So again we will no longer deal with x and y's. So from A to B there is a distance of 2. So you will just simply input here the distance which is 2. So Actually, polar coordinates uh, is the, for me, it's the easiest coordinates to deal with because you will only deal with distance and angle. So you will no longer compute for the x and y. So you will only need to identify the distance and then give its angle to show direction. So the distance will give you how far you will go for that direction. And the angle will specify the direction. So, for example, we have here a distance of 2. And the angle for here from A to B in which A is the pole. Again, A is the pole because it is the reference point in order to create point B. So, from A, which is the pole, we move to B in what angle? So, we have 90 degrees. So, you can just actually input here 90, right? So, it's easy as that. Next, 
from B to C. So in here, B will be will be the pole. So this is the pole. So from B to C, we move to the right. So the angle for this direction is actually zero. So you can just actually input here the angle which is zero. So the distance is 0 0.8. So you will just simply input 0 0.8 which is the distance. Then the angle from B to C is zero. Always remember that there is no negative distance. So all the values for your distance in polar coordinates are positive either uh, in any number as long as it is in positive value. Next from C to D as you can see the length or distance from C to D is 1.5 so again again we will no longer refer to this 1.0607 because this is used for your X and Y um, coordinates but here we only deal with distance so straight in this segment we are going to identify the length of this line so that is 1.5 so we will just input here the 1.5 value and then the angle here from the pole which is the point C so C is the pole so the distance is 45 angle or 45 degrees angle so input here 45 right next from D to E all right as you can see from D to E we have a length or distance of 1.5 but how are we going to solve for the angle because it is not actually given directly but we can actually compute for its angle so like like here from D which is the pole so as you can see here if we are going to move from D to A here we use 315 degrees right because from here up to here we have actually 45 degrees on both sides so 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here so the total here is 90 degrees and we are going to use counterclockwise direction from 0 up here so we have a value of 315 so so we have 315 but we can actually use negative actually right so you can use actually negative 45 degrees or 315 but always remember that in your activities when you are given an assignment or activities always follow instructions because there are some activities that only requires you to use the positive default convention so from D to E, we have an angle of 315 degrees. All right. Next, from E to F, we have a distance of 0 0.8. We will just simply input here the distance. So from E to F, the angle direction is 0 degrees. Next, from F to G, we are moving downward in 270 degrees because F is our pole so the distance is 2 and the angle is 270 degrees alright so what we are using here is only the positive angles so we will not deal with negative but actually it's okay but it's uh, just follow instruction Alright, from G to H, we have a distance of 0 0.8 and our angle is 180. So we have here 180. So next, from H to I, we have the same with this case so the length of this line here from H to I is actually 1.5 so we have a distance of 1.5 so H is the pole so this is our angle here 225 because 
we will always start at zero, right? Although this is 45 degrees from this point up to this point, we will count starting from zero here. Zero up here is 225 degrees. Next, from I to J, we have a distance of 1.5. And our angle is, um, we have here all I, so the angle is 135 degrees. As you can see, we have 135 degrees. Next, from I, oh no, J to A, we move to the left with 0 0.8 distance. So we have here 0 0.8. And our angle here is 180 degrees. So we input here 180. So sometimes it's difficult to compute for the angle because it's not directly stated or given in your activities. So you try to solve for it. So you can use calculators. So now let's try to draw this object here using our AutoCAD software, right? So we start with the line command. So you can click the line command in your home tab and then you can actually just use the shortcut key which is L and just press enter. And always remember to turn on these drawing modes below which, which starts from polar tracking. The next one we have object snap. Next one object snap tracking and dynamic input. So that we can easily deal with our 2D drafting. So let's start. So first we will need to create a line and then specify the absolute starting point which is hashtag negative 2 comma negative 1 and then just press enter and then use the pan command so to to use the pan command just press the mouse wheel and then hold and then drag so you can move through the drawing next we will now input our polar coordinates from A to B. We have at, so the, pref the prefix is at, and then followed by the distance, which is 2, and then separate the values of distance and angle using the less than symbol, and then input its value of angle, and then press enter. Right? So we, we, ha we now have a segment from A to B. So the next one is from B to C. The same with relative coordinates. You can actually omit uh, typing a prefix of at symbol because in AutoCAD it's already understood that when you are going to input without the at symbol, you are actually using either relative or polar. So it's just matter on the symbol on how you separate the values. Like for relative, it is separated by comma and in polar coordinates, distance and angle are separated by the less than symbol. So now we can now input the value of our polar coordinates for point B to C, which is 0 0.8 and then less than symbol and then 0 and press enter. Next, from C to D, we have 1.5 distance and then less than symbol and our angle is 45 degrees. Next, we have D to E. So from D to E, the distance is 1.5. Then separate the angle with less than symbol. The angle for D to E is 315. Press enter. Next, from E to F, we have a distance of 1.5. And then the angle is 0. All right? Uh, again, again, again. I think I used a wrong input for your E to F value. All right. So for your E to F, so you can actually undo and redo in order to deal with your mistakes easily. So from E to F, the answer is 0 0.8 and then separate with 0 angle. Next. From F to G, we have 
a distance of 2 and then an angle of 270 degrees. And then just press enter. Next, G2H, we have 0 0.8 and then 180 degrees. Next, from H to I, we have 1.5 distance and 225 degrees angle. Next, I to J, we have 1.5 distance and then 135 degrees angle. And lastly, from J to A, we have 0 0.8 distance and then 180 degrees angle. Right? So we are done now. We created this object using the polar coordinates of AutoCAD. Just press escape key to cancel the command.